welcome you to the Henderson Church of God of Prophecy where you have a right to be free and you don't have to take what the devil has offered. Yes. God is for you and not against you. We're so excited what God is doing here. Yes. Amen. We thank God for our supporters. We thank God for all the comments that you make and thank God for the Jesus Faith Deliverance Church. We thank God for you and in your prayers and your support. We love you. Amen. And we know that your time is precious. So we're going straight to the word of God for the people of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Our foundation scripture is coming out of the gospel of Matthew, the fifth chapter, verses 13 through 17. And it reads, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is this for good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on the hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light, light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. If I could use for a title today, it would be, It's Time for the Saved People to Shine Their Light. It's Time yes. for the Saved People to Shine Your Light. Hallelujah. We're living in a time where everybody wants to be themselves. Hallelujah. Everybody wants to come out the closet. Hallelujah. And they're trying to put the church in the closet. But it's time for you to shine your light. It's time for you to be the salt of the earth. The verse says that we are the salt of the earth. Yeah. Amen. The back then they didn't have refrigerators and things like that. So they got some meat and they didn't want the meat to spoil. They have to rub salt on it. Yeah. And then tell me y'all remember that today, the old smokehouses and the salt salted hams and things like that. But the, the, the thing is we've got to rub, hallelujah, on our job. The different people who need a savior, they need to see you. Preserve your job. When, when things are going wrong, they need you to step in and be safe. Hallelujah. When somebody on your job is going through a hard time and look like they're about to burst out in tears, right there at the work. Thank God that somebody's there that's saved. They've been praying for them. Get their names and bring them to the house of the Lord and begin to call on God for them. There's some serious issues happening at our jobs. Those that are going to school. As you go to school and you see people going through you have to pray. Hallelujah. I mean, sometimes you got to be the one to go to the underdog. You got to be the one to go to the one that don't have the fancy clothes. Look like they're going through a hard time and encourage them to make it in the name. We are the salt. Hallelujah. Amen. There might be a neighbor that don't have any food. Bring them some groceries. Matter of fact, you didn't got to let them see you. Just knock on the door and put it by the door and walk away. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes somebody, somebody just needs you to listen. And make all the difference. But you're the salt of the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. You're the light of the world. There's so much darkness going around. And everybody has their opinion. But the light has its own opinion. Hallelujah. You can, you can have your opinion that maybe everybody should go left. Somebody say everybody should go right. But when you shine the light, everybody know which way to go. Hallelujah. Thank God for the light. Because the light is the truth. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes you walk into a house and forget how you come in. Yes. And you go try to go out a closet door because you don't know the way. Yes. But as the saints shine the light in the midst of this darkness, you know the way. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Some people ignore the light. Uh -huh. Amen. But it's time for the saved. Yes. Hallelujah. The ones that are saved, sanctified. Yes. Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized. Yes. It's time for you. Amen. Not just to prophesy in the church. I said you're a poor prophet if you can only prophesy in the church. But you got to get on your job and say, thus saith the Lord. You got to go to the grocery store and speak to somebody there and say, thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. The prophets are real prophets in the Bible. They walked down to the streets. Amen. They spoke to the king and the king threw his hand and with it. Whoa. <laughs> and the prophet spoke his hand back into heaven and said, thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It's time for the saints. The Bible says that when you feel the Holy Spirit, amen, that you shall speak in tongues and prophesy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. amen. It says your old man shall dream dreams. Young men shall see visions. Your old man dream dreams. Amen. 
prophesying to the things of God, that we are the light of the world. We're not hiding our light. There's a song we should sing, this little light of mine, Amen. I'm going to let it shine. Amen. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And we say, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hallelujah. In the book of Romans, the 10th chapter, verses 6 to 13 says, but the righteousness, which is of faith, speaketh on this wise. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. But we are only righteous by faith. But our righteousness will speak to you. Yeah. Amen. I don't have to tell you I'm saying I don't have to wear no Christian, I don't have to wear no Christian sticker on my car. I don't have to wear a Christian t-shirt. Because it said we'll know that a Christian yeah. by their love. Yeah. Hallelujah. The righteousness, which is of faith, speaketh on this wise. I'm only righteous by faith, by the way. I've got to believe God and trust God. But I'm only righteous by faith, believing in him. Amen. I believe that his blood was pure. I believe that we serve a sinless Jesus. And we believe, hallelujah, that his blood can wash away my sins and make me righteous. So righteousness is by faith. Speak it on this wise. Say not in thy heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from the above. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring Christ up from the uh, bring Christ from the dead again. But what saved him? The word is not thee. Amen. Amen. Even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith that we preach. Oh, we're talking about the mouth yeah. and we're talking about the heart. We're talking about the mouth and we're talking about the heart. Salvation is just that close. Amen. Salvation is that close and destruction is just that close. Yeah. Oh, you got to guard your heart with all diligence. Yeah. Amen. And watch what's come out of your mouth. Amen. But you ought to begin to speak your salvation. Hallelujah. Verse, let's go and keep on going. Verse 9 says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in their heart that God is raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Hallelujah. That's the same people we're talking about. Yeah. Those who confess, those who believe and spoke it. Hallelujah. Yeah. They are saved. Amen. Amen. Saved. It says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yeah. All of your sins washed away. Hallelujah. Believe and trust God. For the scripture says that whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. You shall not be ashamed. I speak against uh, shame right now in Jesus' name. Amen. For those who have confessed Christ, give her that sake, that shame. Guilt and shame is from the devil. We speak to you now. Amen. You shall not be ashamed. It says, For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. The same Lord of all is rich upon all that call upon him. It makes no difference what your nationality is. Amen. You call on Christ. Amen. And you believe God for your salvation it's by faith. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. That word saved, hallelujah, yes. is Zoe. The Zoe life. We're going to get there in a minute. Yes. Amen. But 2 Corinthians 5 17 says, There's, Therefore, any man or woman be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Yeah. Amen. A lot of things gotta get, get, will be removed out of your mouth. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Before I got saved, boy, I could cuss. I could cuss so much that people call call me over to cuss, cuss somebody out for them. Oh, yeah. I, I will put it together. Yeah, they say, I can't cuss them out. Come here. Yes, but then what happened when I got saved? That departed out of my mouth. Yeah. Hallelujah. I got a new way of talking now. I don't cuss, but I bless. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. That's the new creature. Amen. The place I used to go, I don't go no more. Amen. I don't feel right in the club no yeah. more. Hallelujah. I don't feel right in the liquor house no yeah. more. Right. I don't know if they still got liquor houses. But they got crack houses. I'm not sure you going there. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> don't feel right in those places no more. Because I'm a new creature. I have the Zoe life. Amen. Amen. The God kind of life. Zoe life. Hallelujah. That comes from the word in John 10, 10. says, the thief cometh not but for to steal, kill, and to destroy. He says, but I have come. And we don't know why did Christ come. He said he came that you might have life and enjoy it. Amen. That you might have life and that more abundantly. Yeah. Hallelujah. When I accepted Christ, I lived life abundantly. People say, man, how do you do all these things? I've got the abundant life of Christ. 
Hallelujah, I can start a business. I got the abundant life of Christ. Yeah. And so how do you come to work with joy? I got the abundant life of Christ. And I enjoy every day of my life, and you can too. And I speak it over you now, that you begin to enjoy every day of your life. Hallelujah. No sickness and shame. Hallelujah. No depression. I rebuke the spirit of depression. Amen. No more, no more unrestless nights. Hallelujah. No more panic attacks. Hallelujah. They go in Jesus' name. Give me the restless leg syndrome. The devil's alive. Peace in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Lay down in peace and joy. Hallelujah. Amen. And we all know that the Bible says that the wages of sin and death. Ah, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. That word eternal life there. Amen. Through Christ Jesus. That word there. Amen. Is sozo. Eternal life. We get to enjoy eternal life through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. To be absent from the body. Hallelujah. Is to be present with the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Believe God. Trust God. Amen. Believe God for that Zoe life. Believe God. Hallelujah. For that Sozo life. Hallelujah. Enjoy your life. I, I encourage you to walk out your salvation. I encourage you to let this light shine. Hallelujah. Christ saved you to do a work. And whatever your purpose is, whatever your call is, it's time now to step into your calling. Yeah. We're in the midst of so much going on, Thank watching you. the news and seeing destruction mm -hmm. and seeing gun violence and all that stuff right there. Why? We, the church, have to get these guns off the street. I know they're talking about all other things and how to get the guns off and, and they have all these meetings and how to clean up the drugs. But I remember when, 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 when heroin back in the day hit the streets years ago. And the church began to pray. Yeah. I mean, surely see the God have song out there <laughs> singing about the people and yeah. all this other that. And the church got rid of that heritage. Yeah. We can do things government can't do. Hallelujah. Let's rise up with the power yeah. of, of, to preserve our neighborhood, our families, our friends. Amen. To, preserve, to be the light, amen, of this sinful world. Yeah. The world needs us to let our light shine. The world needs us. Hallelujah, to preserve their earth, How to walk and share. Because this is good news. Anyone can accept Christ. Man. Hallelujah. Nobody's too mean to accept Christ. Nobody's too anything to accept Christ. Because he will do the work. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in our lives. And he'll bless you. Amen. Whosoever will, let him come. Why? Because you don't have to take what the devil has offered. God is for you, not against you. You have a right to be free. And that's the gospel truth.